Hey guys, what is going on? This is Doro DS, and today I'm gonna bring you guys a brand new walkthrough playthrough of the PS2 game known as Full Metal Alchemist and the Broken Angel for the PlayStation 2. As when I really think of this game, I really think of nostalgic nostalgia. As I play this game uh, back in 2010, early 2011, over the Christmas break, New Year's. And I beat this game in six days, so I really, and I've almost, I've gone through it again, and here we go. I guess we're gonna start. Man gains nothing without sacrifice. To so gain something, an equivalent price must be paid. This is alchemy's law of equivalent exchange. And they, okay, I guess we're gonna start right here. <laughs> Edward. I'm not gonna talk without through the cut scenes and everything. Edward Elric, a young prodigy who became a state alchemist at the age of 12. He is now 15 years old. His alias, Full Metal, derives from the fact that his right arm and left leg are metallic artificial limbs known as Automail. Alphonse Elric. Edward's younger brother, inside the giant suit of armor is a 14 year old boy with a gentle heart only his soul occupies the suit of armor he no longer has a fix a physical body poor Al come on Al in their youth the Elric brothers attempted to revive their deceased mother through alchemy the results were tragic the price for attempting the forbidden act of human transmutation Ed lost his left leg Al lost his entire body. Ed sacrificed his right arm and succeeded in, in transmuting Al's soul, binding it to another nearby suit of armor. But their mother never came back, and the price they paid was far too great. In order to regain their bodies and return all to its previous state, the Elric brothers started on a journey to find the legendary Philosopher's Stone. Here we go, Central Railway. Railway. And they're on a train heading to somewhere. I don't know, they have Armstrong with them. Ah, are we at Central yet? Watching all these trees go by is just making me want to strangle something. Been bored ever since we reached Risen Bullhead. Me, I think it's nice to take a break from going after the Philosopher's Stone, do you? A break! I'm gonna break something at this dub boring train ride doesn't end soon. Here we go again. Ha! What a disgrace! Have you no patience, Edward Elric? Once we reach the junction at Heyskart, Central's a stone's throw away. Huh? Heyskart? So we are near that old place. Bring back memories, huh, Ed? Yeah. Now that you mention it. Oh, ho! Oh, so you have been the Scar before, eh? Oh, Armstrong. Yes, our master had brought us there just once, a few years ago. I think we'd gone to see this guy named Wilhelm. He was quite an alchemist, just like our master. I'm remembering it now. The professor had a daughter named Celine, and she was an alchemist too. She was as old as us, as old as that, but her skills were like a grown-up's. Ho oh, oh, ho, is that so? A genius coral alchemist, eh? A genius, yeah, but cold hearted. I mean, we were so nice to her the whole time we were there. But when the time came for us to go back to Doublelift, she didn't even come out to send us off. Oh, yeah. Huh, well, she probably wasn't feeling well enough to. 
Or maybe she was just turned to know what she would, to say goodbye to your strapping girl. I wonder if she's still studying. I bet she's a great alchemist by now. What was that? An explosion? We are the People's huh? Eastern Revolution Front. We have assumed control of this train. I repeat, we are the People's, People's Eastern, Eastern Revolution, Revolution Front. Front. Sounds like a bunch of names cut and pasted together. Train. I certainly All haven't heard of it. Uh, be I'll bet it's another new radical group. Jeez, Eastern what is this world coming to? Hmm. Aren't you going to do something? Uh, why do I have to? Yeah, I mean, you can take those guys all by yourself, right, Major? <laughs> Indeed! It's just that like they hijacked a train with the strong on Alex Louise Armstrong on board! <laughs> Come hither, crooks! You shall regret your bad luck in due time, I assure you! All right, you! What, what the? Who are you, freaks? You heard the announcement, didn't you? This train's now under the control of the Eastern Liberation Federation. I guess they've changed their name since the announcement. I just can't take this anymore. Hey, wait, weren't we just in a situation like this? Yeah, we were. Someone must have put a curse on us. Hey, you and the armor and Shorty. Who gave you permission to chat? Who just called him Shorty? Fork over oh, the man. Battle. This is perfect. Okay, you, take the goods from the muscle man in the armor, then get your butt over here, Shorty. Oh, God. Who are you calling? What did you shorty? just do, man? You, of course. <laughs> Who the heck else is there? You shorty. shorty. Oh, Ed. Snap. You calling me the tennis book of world record? Yeah, oh, crap. Ed, wow. Edward Elric. An alchemist? You have a. He seriously goes for the alchemy and he has a gun in his hand. Really? You. <laughs> You have a gun in your that hand, and you're not going to use it? Just who are these God. people, anyway? I'm telling you, it's a curse. Or maybe they want your autograph. What? Who? Hey, what's going on in here? Huh? Maybe he's a fan of yours. Very funny. All right, Major. You go check out the cars in the back and find out what that explosion was. Don't worry about it. I'm already on it. Looks like we've got alchemists among us. So everybody watch your backs, okay? <laughs> mm, I know it too well. Well then. Mm. Let's go! Alright, so let's get started. Okay, Al, let's do this like last time. You go from below while I take the rooftop. Yeah, gotcha. Be careful, alright? All right, so we're gonna head off with Ed up on the roof, and Al is gonna clean up crap on the bottom. Movement and gamer eye controls. Left analog stick moves you. Character X to jump. Right analog is the camera, and L2 to, sm to switch map display. L1 is to reset the camera. Blah blah blah. So we're gonna head off with Ed. Just gonna go back here and see what we can find. Oh, you wanna go Armstrong? Let's go, man! <laughs> Edward Elric, you leave the cars to me. You cover the cars in front. I got the back. All right, so we're going to go head to the roof because there's pretty much nothing around here. Yeah, I already checked this. All right, let's go. And Al's got that, so let us hit the hay and go up. The train moved up. All right, train hoppers, time to do board. Face first. Basic attacks. Circle, or square, striking attack. Combos, combo, combo. You can use alchemy. Or by pressing like, the end of a combo, you can do AccuStrike. That's kind of weird. All right, let's go. We'll take these guys. We're going to take these guys out. They're pretty easy. A few strikes, a few alchemy. Maybe I'm probably gonna use a lot of alchemy during this because I never really did. I never really used alchemy that much in the first run through of this game. 
a few years ago. I pretty much used my my auto mail transmitted to the, the sword. And so. We're gonna hear a lot of all this going on. And I didn't get him. I don't know. I didn't even realize I didn't get him. There's three more coming back up. And you think it's never gonna end. Jeez, one after another. What a pain. Well then, we'll just have to use alchemy to finish them off. Alchemy. Using alchemy. Press the circle button for a rock blocker. Hold it for stone spikes. Rock blockers will shield you from attacks. You can also jump and climb on them. On the uh, barriers. Let's just call them barriers. The rock barriers. Alchemy. Alchemy is a lot more <laughs> draining. It's a lot better to use in a combo than just striking guy. I can't really hit him. I don't even know why. Come on, Ed. You're a lot better than this. Come on, Ed. There we go. Got him there. And we're finishing him all. That seems how There we go. Alright, so did we have wait? I think we did. Yeah, we did. Okay, let's go. Onward to the next cart, and I think there's an open window over right here, so an open hatch, so we're gonna hop back in. Into the freight car. A freight car, huh? Hmm. What do we have here? Transmuting weapons. When you hold down uh, O, power up an alchemy gauge. You will see circles around objects you can transmute. Let go of O while inside the circle to use alchemy. So you can do this, and you can get a spear. Equipping and using items. When standing near a weapon, hit triangle to use and equip. And if you don't want it, just drop it using the same button. And you can use combos while using your transmuting weapon. <laughs> Holy crap, that's so much, I don't even know what to do. That's so much buttons to press, man. Oh, I don't even know. Depending on your timing, you can use stone spikes and strikes. And yeah. Alright, so we got a motley crew coming in. And we're gonna destroy them. Boom! And when Al gets here, we're gonna totally destroy him. If we ever meet Alphonse, and I don't know. Alphonse might be picking his nose somewhere, but he doesn't even have a nose. He doesn't even have any of so what am I even saying? Alright, so open up a chest. If you find chests, you can find items, so... So far, so good is where... Am I going the right way? Yeah, well. Okay, so, so far, so good for the one freight car. I'm liking it. First playthrough of this game took me six days. Haha! <laughs> Let's see what we can whip up here. So we have these carts, creating transmuted weapons. Different levels of alchemy gauge will give you a choice of transmutable weapons. Alright, so let's use this. Let's do a gun. Yeah. Let's destroy these guys. Alright, we can climb on and we can actually use Al to use it if we want to use That one. And I missed the all the others? Wow, I hit, I used 30, that was dumb. And I can't redo it, I can't. So I'm just gonna go boom, boom, and boom, and just destroy this guy. Wait a minute, and use alchemy. Thank you. And there's two more guys right here. Fudge, let's get going, let's use this one. Get on this chair. Take that! Ooh, you missed. And I, that guy's like the easiest guy to get. And boom. And I hit myself. I only lose 10 HP. But it was well worth it. And I, it doesn't even matter. I level up after that anyway. I level up anyway after this. So it doesn't really matter. And you get uh, bonus points whenever you level up for Ed and Al. Alright, so I put much done in this freight car. So we can get this... Lead bangle, so that's an equipable item we can use. That's an elixir. And we're going the wrong way. Yeah, we're, we're, going, the, we're going the wrong Ed, we're going the wrong way. Ed, you're going the wrong way. Oh my god, Ed. Ed, you're going the... Ed, you're going the wrong way. Ed, you're going the wrong way. 
And then there's Alphonse. Hello, Al. Welcome back. Al, any of them up back there? Thanks to you, I think they're all KO'd. Yup, yup, just leave to me. Let's go get the rest of them. Come on, Al, let's go. Ow! Stop seeing Al, Al! Trying to call him later is gonna be. Good. Alright, so we're on the train. You know, Ed, you have always go diving in by yourself. But cooperation is important in battle. Giving commands to Al. When Al is far away, you can hit R1 to call him, and when Al is close by, you can hit R1 to tackle. In time, hold R1 to guard. So, Al, okay. Al get him! Oh, get him. oh he missed him. Oh, okay. well, at least he punched him, buddy. <laughs> Alright, so, two more guys coming in. Get him. Get Let's go, Al, get him! Okay. Get him. Get Come on, Al. You stinker. There we go. One, two, three. Three guys. Alright, Alphonse. Let's go. Oh, shit. No problem. And let's... Come on, Alphonse. Okay. I that for? I didn't... And I just put up a <laughs> I just put up a barrier. I didn't know what I'm doing. Nice, get it. That was a great dodge too. So, come on now, come on. Get over here. Get the over here, Alphonse. Get him! Okay. And Alphonse is just like a wrecking machine. Way to go, Idaho. Good job. And that's the opposite way. We have to go back. This is the wrong way. Yeah, we just, we just, Al, we came in, Al, I'm sorry, Ed, we just came in that way. Jeez. Come on, Ed, get your head in the game. All right, so we're going to go through the freight car. We're done. We're in another box, and we're at seven. So close. We're very, we're getting, we're in coach cars now, actually. And we're getting a lot closer to getting in. So let's go. Hey, Al. Yeah, Ed? Do you think I could transmit this into a weapon for you to use? Yeah, I think I can. <laughs> Transmuted weapon types. Pressing uh, circle to display. The circles will also show icons of available weapon types. Red a weapon for Ed, blue for Al, and green for both. So hold down and there's one for Al. It is monstrous. It is monstrous for Alphonse to use. But it's a weapon he can use Ow, and a weapon he is good to use. Here we go. Oh, sh oh, crap, I hate those glunky guys. They're so dead, they're... Come on, Alphonse. Get him. Alphonse is wrecking it. And I'm gonna use alchemy. And alchemy again. And I destroy him. One, two, three. Thank you. All right, Al, let's go. Oh my gosh, Al just got all three. <laughs> Al just got all three in one shot. Wow, Al, you're just a one-man wrecking show, aren't you? Gosh, Al, are you kidding me? Let's get going. Let's crack some eggs. Let's crack some more eggs. So we're getting a lot closer to the front of the uh, train. Still in coach cars, as you can see. All right, so we got weapons here, and a guy just drops in from below. Two more guys drop in from below. There's no one. I don't know what I did that for. Ow, okay. Come on, Al. Oh, Alphonse, you never see me to not amaze me. What a man, Alphonse has been a boss. Go, Alphonse. Should I go up in the roof this time? <laughs> Come on, someone who was as big as you would fall right through the roof. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you better keep to the floor, Alphonse. I'll go upstairs. Under, I'll go under the roof. Alright, so I'm just gonna go back here and see if there's anything that I can. Any chests that I can miss? Because I know I missed a lot of chests before. Ah, oh, there's one. Another elixir. Alright. Elixir's up the wazoo. 
So the more you play, the more you beat Full Metal Alchemist, the harder the game gets. Apparently, there are three different difficulty levels. So if you beat it once, you move on to the medium. If you beat it twice, then you have the hard difficulty. God, still more of them. Well, we're really the only hijackers on board. Alright, we can dodge moves now as if I can... I already knew that, so... Dodging hit uh, your left arm analog stick in L2. Side to side, left to right, you know the difference. And just destroy all these guys, because they don't believe it. Man, those alchemy guys are so easy. Ooh, that was... That was nice. That was close, but it was nice. Three more guys! Ah, uh, not again. Looks like I've got to beat my way through. Break falling! If you're knocked in the air, you can break fall by pressing the X button before you hit the ground. A successful break fall can get you back on your feet faster. Alright, so we're gonna get, you know, let you guys know what a break fall is. Uh, if you, you guys, oh god, I'm hitting him. I'm hitting him through, I'm hitting him through the barrier. I'm hitting him through the barrier. That's, that's, that's hilarious. Oh, whatever. That was actually a nice block, if you know what I mean. Hey. Get the hell out of here. This is my show. I'm Ed. And you're not. Alright, we're in first class. We're about 21 minutes into our first episode. It's gonna be about 30, 30 minutes long. And I'm gonna switch out. And I just switch back. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna head, I guess, to... Oh, okay, okay. Here is a save point. Stop to the save point and press circle or or X or square to save your progress and heal yourself. And there's another elixir S. I don't really need to use it. So we're gonna go end the episode right here, and we're just gonna go equipped the lead bangle and the lead plate. I'm going to put the lead plate to Ed because he has really low defense. It's only going to make him boost up by one, but it doesn't really matter. So we're going to have the lead plate for Ed and the lead bangle for Al for his attack. Even though his attack is a lot better than Ed's anyway. <laughs> but Alphonse can really help us. Alright, so now we're going to do bonus points. We only have two. So let's go give him an attack. Yeah, let's give him an attack and give Al some D. So they kind of balance themselves out. Alright, so we're pretty much done, I guess. Accessories? Yeah. So let's save our progress. Files unused. This is another memory card. My memory card number two has the old save file. So let's see here. There we go. 22 minutes in. Thank you guys for watching, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. This is Dart S, signing out, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace!